what we're going to do now is we're going to do an activation where um, we're using the electrical stimulus from the complex while Richard goes to squat. So Richard, I'm gonna get you to do a squat like you're about to sit down in a chair, so not too low, not your maximum range. And we're gonna time it to do it with the contraction. So at the moment, it's just in its relaxation phase. And then if you're looking down um, at Richard's thighs, you'll start to see them contract. And so if you start to go into your squat while it's contracting, you start to get that reinforcement and then he can come up while it's relaxed. So that's when we're using it in what we call the eccentric phase. So you can imagine the quads do a controlled lengthening while the knee bends, and we're getting extra motor or muscle recruitment on that eccentric phase. And then it's relaxed as he comes up. Now alternatively, we could also use it on the contraction phase. So we could come down in the relaxation phase, and then while it's contracting, continue to come up. So then we also get that extra recruitment as the muscle's contracting. The great thing with the complex and its contract and relax phase is that we sort of get um, a number of reps that we can time our activations with. So we can either do one contract relax cycle as one, you know, contract eccentrically and then relax as you come up concentrically, or we can do it the other way around. We can come down into eccentric while there's no muscle um, stimulus and then come up concentrically as the muscle is contracting with the complex or we could do one full cycle while it's in its contraction phase so we can go both down eccentrically while it's contracting and as it's still contracting we come up concentrically so we can sort of time our reps that way.